hi everyone it's christy and i wanted to shoot this video and share it with you before you got on your uh, on, on, on your memorial day weekend and what i want to share is how women are staying trapped and why they're not growing so i've been sitting on this information for a while and something came up when i was doing my insta story last night or yesterday about beauty. So the beauty industry is huge, right? It's really a big, powerful industry. We know that. Whether you're hot, you know, you're holistic, whether you are mainstream beauty, it is a big industry and the marketing is fierce. And the products coming to marketplace are continual. It is like daily something new hits the um, hits the market place. And so I was thinking about all the energy because I've been in the beauty industry for 20 years. I've been a professional makeup artist. I've worked with different companies for 14 years. I've been an eco beauty stylist. I had my own eco beauty bar within my store. And I know both worlds, both sides, right? Both sides of the world. And what I've seen in the last five years with social media, with Instagram and Periscope and and YouTube and Facebook and all the social media is this obsession and the amount of energy that is going into the beauty worlds, whether you're green or not, it doesn't matter. It's shifted tremendously. And yes, the beauty industry is about selling products. And yes, I love beauty products. I've loved beauty products since I was little. I loved watching my mom get ready. I love all of it. What I have am seeing is this distraction. Now, energetically, the forces that be will distract a woman coming into her, distract a woman from coming into her full power, her full essence, because in that feminine essence, she can heal the world. She can heal everyone around her. She can bring light into a very dark patriarchal system. So what a fantastic way to distract her by selling her things every other minute, by selling her ideas of what she needs to look like because she's not enough. She's not worthy. She's not perfect enough who, in who she is. So we need to keep selling her, selling her, selling her. And that goes for the green industry as well as mainstream industry. And I love makeup. I love skincare, but I don't obsess about it. My day is maybe 15, no, maybe 10% around beauty. I don't wear makeup all the time, but when I do, I love it. It's how I get to express this vessel and express how I want to feel in that moment. It's a certain, you know, oil. It's a certain way I put my makeup on, uh, the way I do jewelry, the way that is the creative feminine. That is my feminine essence coming alive and saying, I am a beauty to behold. And this is how I want to express myself. The distraction is, is being consumed into it nonstop where it takes up the majority of your day. And guess what you really need to be doing? What we are being called to as women on this planet is not to be more masculine. The hashtag boss bitch, lady bitch, those things have to go. It's about coming into our tender, soft, feminine essence. And for a lot of us, that's very uncomfortable because we don't know what that means. And for a lot of us, we think it's weak. It's in that softness that we are actually powerful on this earth. And so when industries are numbing and dumbing us down by having us be consumed with only one facet of the feminine divine, like that divine feminine, that female, that feminine that's deep within us. When they corner us into a market where we are only consumed with that, we can't retrieve our soul. We can't do our wound healing. We can't resurrect the woman that we were meant to be. We can't tap into that creativity. We can't take a look at our relationships and figure out, oh my gosh, this is so toxic and dangerous to me. We can't self-actualize. We can't set on that path to true personal growth. We can't understand how our bodies react and act to our environment, to our foods. We don't hone or harness that intuition because they've fed us one tiny bubble 
of what it means to be beautiful. So that is my invitation for the weekend is see how much of your energy is being paid to the beauty industry and the pictures that they want you to encompass that perfection well where you're never enough and start to pull your power back you're pulling your power back where you get to master the beauty industry and take and choose what you want and what works for you anything else that is consuming your and yes even if you're a beauty blogger there is a way to harness your energy where you're doing it as a job but you're not consumed with it where you are continually um, investing in your evolution on many fronts, not just the beauty industry. So that is my message and invitation to you. If you want to join a group of women where we have these deep discussions and these deep unravelings, join Hot and Holistic. It's my web, my online program, Hot and Holistic. You just go to christyfunk.com and click on that and you can join Hot and Holistic at the program, but you also get the wonderful, robust, uh, community that we talk about these things. So stay beautiful and until next time, many blessings.